about old Scots language. Scots language is spoken by both the old and the young and can be heard in city and country areas across Scotland. Scots was the language used by Arabi Burns to write most of his Scottish poems. Let's learn some animals in Scots language. A paddock is a... a frog. Let's move like a paddock. <laughs> Move like a hoolet. Oh, 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 oh. A coo is a a cow. Let's move like a coo. A bubbly jock is a, a turkey. Let's move like a turkey. <laughs> a moose is a, a mouse. Let's move like a mouse. A brock is a, a badger. Let's move like a brook. I hope you had lots of fun moving around like lots of Scots animals. An adjective is a describing word and in Scots language there are many adjectives. Why not try mixing your Scots adjectives with your Scots animals and draw a picture? What about a toty tod or a peely wally puddock? Three crows sat upon a wall, sat upon a wall, sat upon a wall. Three crows sat upon a wall on a cold and frosty morning. The first crow, it can you flee at all? Can you flee at all? Can you flee at all? The first crow, it can you flee at all on a cold and frosty morning. The second. Crow was greeting for his maw, a greeting for his maw, a greeting for his maw. The second crow was greeting for his maw on a cold and frosty morning. The third crow fell and broke his jaw, a fell and broke his jaw, a fell and broke his jaw. The third crow fell and broke his jaw on a cold and frosty morning. The fourth crow. Wasn't he there at all? It wasn't he there at all? Oh, wasn't he there at all? The fourth crow. It wasn't he there at all? On a cold and frosty morning. I hope you've had lots of fun learning all about Scots language, and I'll see you soon for some more one-day creative videos. Bye bye.